Greetings all, I'm master storyteller Jonathan Kruk, and behind me here, maestro Tom McCoy. Welcome to Fairy Tale Friday. Today, we're going to perform for you a fine fairy tale from France, the Froggy Beard Prince. Once upon a time, a princess, pouting in the castle, caused her mother, the queen, to call, Daughter, don't sit around here with that face. Go outside and play. With whom? With all the children there? Oh, mother, they're not royal like me. Get over yourself and go out and play. All right, but I shall do it in my own way. The princess gathered up a golden ball, and out she went promenading past the other children. She sat by a little stream and threw up her golden ball and caught it, much to the amazement of those saucer-eyed playing children. The princess wanted to show what she could do, so she tossed the ball and thought she would catch it without looking, but splash! The ball landed in the stream. The kids laughed. Ah! You got me all wet, you silly ball. But the ball mm -mm -mm, eh, 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 just kind of sat at the bottom of that uh, little watery way. But ah, there emerged from the water blur, blur, a green, slimy, wart encrusted, liver lipped, fly licking, goggle eyed, blur, frog. Ew, disgustifying. I know. But because I'm disgustifying, I'm a frog, able to get that golden ball for thee. Blur. Well, don't just sit there, slime bucket. Get my golden ball. Will you give me a reward? What? Listen, wart nose. I'm a princess. I can get you whatever you want. Get my golden ball. Promise anything I want. Promise. Listen, liver lips. Get my golden ball. I'll give you whatever you want. Well, the frog leapt into the water and fetched the golden ball. Tatooie spit it into the princess's hands. And, without even a word of thanks, forgetting the promise, she promenades off. The frog leaps behind. Wait, wait. What about my blur reward? All right. So what do you want? Flies? Beetles for breakfast? Your own pond? No, 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 nothing like that. See, all I want is one slightly wet. Kissy. Ew. Disgustifying. Puke-o-mania. Grossification. How dare you ask me for a kiss? I'll tell you what I'm going to give you. A stomp on the head. And the princess tried to stomp on the frog. But fortunately, you're the... Little green amphibious creature. It was very good. Blur, 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 and hopping away from the princess's stomping feet. The princess then went into the castle. Twas time for dining. At one end sat the king, putting on his beard, wondering, Oh, what did you do today, my daughter? At the other hand, twirling her hair, the queen, Yes, daughter, what did you do today? Well, she said, nothing about the lost ball and about the frog and about the promise she had made once he fetched that ball of a but ah then comes the butler introducing his worship he says carrying a green pillow the frog who leapt into the princess's pudding it emerged Built. I've a tale to tell that said, pudding falling off of its warts. Well, the queen and king went zoons. The princess tried to whack that frog with her spoon, but the frog got out the tale I've been telling you. Princess, you've promised this frog a kiss. After it fetched your golden ball and you haven't delivered it, you've got to live up to your word. You are a princess after all. 
Well, after all, I don't want to have to kiss a disgustifying grossification of a frog. Ew! Now go to your room and think about it. Ah! Well, the princess. Wah! No, I'm going to have a big tantrum. Wah! Had a tantrum and sat on the end of her bed and pulled a power powder. Until, but a bump bump. The door knocked. She imagined, oh, it's the cook bringing my dinner to me. But what? Oh, when she opened the door, the green slimy frog leapt and landed on the princess's satin pillow. Don't slime up my pillow. Get off. She waved her hand, whacked the frog. Oh, it flew through the air, cuffed against the wall, and slid down. And now... On its back, white belly up, there it lay. And the princess took a look. <gasps> oh, oh. She was filled with something she'd never felt before. Sorrow for someone other than herself. Oh, Froggy, I didn't mean to hurt you. I just didn't want slime on my satin pillow. I'm sorry. If it will help, I'll... And she picked up the little creature, cradled it, closed her eyes, and gave it a kiss. And wonder of wonders, there appeared a young man. Young man? What are you doing in my room, says she. Huh? Did you call me young man? Of course. What else would I call you? Well, what you called me before. Slimy, warty, liver... Li oh, wait. Did it happen? D did the spell get broken? Oh, I don't see any slime or green skin. It happened. You broke the spell. And then he fell down on bended knee and said, Oh, thank you. And will you marry me? Well, the princess knew about boys. Disgustifying, pucomania, grossification, said she. Then, but then when they grew up and worked a few things out, they got <coughs> married and lived happily ever after, save for one thing. <coughs> Whenever a fly would buzz by, <coughs> That young man would attempt to catch the flies. But when you think about all the bad habits men have, catching flies is not really that bad. And we hope this story wasn't all that bad. And we hope that, like those in this fairy tale, that you will live happily ever after. Thank <laughs> you.